Hello, this is Alex Kazmark for the FXEdge.com, and this is your free daily video for March 17th, 2010. A quick reminder before I begin, the purpose of this free daily video is education and not an alert service. I'm not going to make any trade recommendations, but what I am going to do is point out levels of support and resistance for the next 12 to 24 hours. Please keep in mind that trading with leverage is very risky, so please don't trade any real money until you've established a proven track record of success on a demo account. Trading conditions are always changing, so make sure to watch tomorrow's video to stay updated. Well, once again, our expectations haven't been on point. Rather, we keep getting surprised by the market shifting price action against the dollar. A break of 138 may lead to the market higher, possibly to 140 over the next few days. So pay, clay, pay close attention to that level on the euro dollar. Don't be surprised that we can't that we continue to see such heavy moves. Uh, technically, we've been on point so far, but news out of the EU regarding Greece, uh, possibly interest rate announcements and other surprises have been throwing us off the last couple of days. We need to establish a certain direction with limited reversals so we can make a few longer term trades. We continue to look for dollar losses for a few hundred pips before we see another long term reversal and further dollar strength. Currently looking at the euro dollar on the daily trading at 137.65. As we mentioned, our first level of resistance is at 138. A break above that will lead the market to 138.50 and then possibly up to 140. Our first level of support is at 137.50 followed by 137. A break below 137 may lead the market to 136.30 followed by 136 and 135.50. Looking at the pound, uh, another great a day for the pound coming going up to above the 152 level, mostly uh, late in the U.S. session following the uh, interest rate announcement and comments uh, from ben, ben Bernanke. Um, first level of resistance is going to be at 152.50. Above that, we'll be looking for 154, followed by 155.50 and 157.80. Our first level of support will be at 152. A break lower will lead to 150.50, followed by 149.50 and 147.80. Looking at the dollar Swissy trading at 105.50, our first level of support will be at 105.50, uh, just at that level. Um, with that in mind, a break lower will most likely lead to 105, followed by 104.40 and 103.70. Our first level of resistance will be at 105.80, followed by 106.50. Excuse me, there's also 106.20 that's going to be important here, and then followed by 106.50. Above that, we'll be looking for 106.80, and 107.20 is going to be our last level of resistance for today. Looking at the dollar yen trading at 90.30, uh, continues to roll over, setting a lower low. However, this isn't uh, coordinating with the other pairs where the dollar is losing ground against everything right now. It should be seeing uh, some gains against the, the yen. Trading at 90.30, our first level of resistance is 90.50, followed by 91 and 92. Our first level of support is going to be at 89.80, followed by 89.50. A break below that will target 89, followed by 88.50. As we've been mentioning, it's been a very difficult market to understand. A lot of volatility has been very difficult to trade it, rather. Understanding it is one thing, but being able to trade with some certainty has been more difficult. If you'd like a more detailed analysis with potential trade opportunities during our live trading session, please join us in the members area. This has been Alex Kazmark for the FXEdge.com. Free daily video for March 17th, 2010. Until tomorrow, good luck trading.